Hello everyone, Pete here. And having Windows 11 on our Xbox Ally, Ally X, or ROG Ally or Ally X has many benefits, such as the ability to download and play Game Pass games natively, and also online multiplayer FPS games that require anti-cheat, like Battlefield 6, for example. However, as we know that even though the new Xbox full screen experience is a positive step forward, that Windows is just not optimized for gaming. But not to worry as here is a de bloat guide to get rid of all the unnecessary Windows junk and free up precious storage and memory resources in just six super easy steps. And this of course works for all Windows based PC handhelds like the Legion Go and MSI Claw 2. Plus I'll share some before and after gameplay to see what increases in performance we can see as a result of doing these debloating steps. So as we start, I assume that you've got your Ally, Legion Go or other PC gaming handheld already fully optimized using my brand new 17 essential step guide. And if you haven't for some reason, then the link is below in the description. I'm going to do this on my brand new Xbox Ally X, but as I say that this does work for all PC Windows based handhelds. And for step one, we need to open an app called Terminal. So if you're in the Xbox full screen experience like I am right here, then let's hold down our Xbox button or we can swipe up and click on the Windows desktop option at the bottom to enter our desktop. Here we can minimize any open apps. Doing this with a keyboard and mouse is obviously the best way, but if you don't have this, then just hit Command Center, change the control mode to desktop mode, close out of Command Center, right click or press the right trigger on the start menu, then click on terminal and in brackets admin, then click yes on the pop-up. For step two, we now need to enter a terminal command, but don't get freaked out here with this stuff. I'll guide you through it step by step. Let's open command center, open our keyboard, and let's type IRM space christitus.com forward slash win then space. Then hit the one, two, three button, then this right arrow, then this line icon, then space and IEX. It should look exactly like this. So it should read IRM space Chris Titus dot com forward slash win space this line icon space IEX. Then press return. We can close our keyboard and it will now bring up this screen. For step three, let's now de bloat Windows. Again, don't get freaked out here. I know this looks intimidating if we're brand new to PC gaming. So let's head to the tweaks tab at the top and click on standard, which then ticks most of these items on the left. A really neat trick is that hovering over any of these tweaks gives us an overview of what each does, which is super helpful. So if you use a lot of Xbox gameplay recording, then you may want to untick the game DVR option like I'm going to do right now. The disable hibernation option should be off by default and do make sure that this is. It is absolutely crucial that this is off, otherwise we won't be able to hibernate our ally. As our super smart viewer, Cerberus the Wise, in my last deploy guide pointed out, I know I say this all the time, but man, you viewers are so, so smart. We absolutely 100% need to untick the disable Wi-Fi sense option, otherwise it will probably cause Wi-Fi issues. Make sure that this run disk cleanup is ticked because as our great viewer comics gaming commented also in the last deploy guide that he freed up a ton of wasted OneDrive sync space as a result of this run disk cleanup being ticked. You may want to tick this set hibernation as default as some of us may prefer to hibernate to ally instead of just sleep. I'm going to leave this unticked for the time being but let us know if you prefer this ticked in the comments. I want to deep load to the edge browser so I'm going to tick this. And I wouldn't really recommend touching the advanced tweaks as deep loads and ally can really mess up our ally. In fact, I was very close to basing this deep load guide on a third party app called Bloat It Nosy, which is popular. But if we're really not careful, then yeah, as I say, stuff can really get messed up that I just don't want to risk. But if you do use Bloat It Nosy or another more invasive deep load app, then give us your thoughts and tips below in the comments. So with our boxes ticked, Again, let us know in the comments if you recommend ticking or disabling any that I've missed. Then we can now hit the run tweaks button on the bottom left and the magic will happen. To clear out the junk and do some deep bloating, this is so awesome. You may get a disk space notification telling us of the disk storage space it's cleared for us, which is great. And when it's finished, if you swipe up from the bottom, then head into our terminal app. We should get this load of info telling us that the app has de-bloated. And most importantly, at the bottom left, it should have this tweaks are finished message, ace. 
If we head back into our Windows Utility app, then here on the right, we can customize Windows preferences, like changing a the theme to dark if we like this. All of this is completely personal preference, but I'm gonna disable the widgets button in taskbar, so stuff like the news and weather app won't pop up, which can be annoying. For step four, let's now head into the config tab. And on the right, I'd recommend heading into the power panel section and just making sure our ally is on performance for the optimum gaming experience. On the left, we can reset any Windows updates, which is super helpful if any of us mess up our ally. And if we click on the setup auto login, we can enter our Windows password here. So after this, when we press the power button, we enter straight into Windows, which is ace. For step five, let's de-bloat auto startup apps. We finished here, so let's close out. Then hit the start button, head into settings, then go into apps, then scroll down to the startup option. And yeah, let's de-bloat apps at auto startup to save precious resources. So for me, it's like the EA app, the Edge browser, Microsoft OneDrive, security notifications, and let us know which that you found best to turn off to in the comments. And a huge thanks to our great viewer, Fruit Loop, who recommended us doing this in my last de-bloat guide. Thanks so much, Fruit Loop. And for step six, let's de-bloat unused apps and games. So here in settings, let's click again on apps, head into installed apps. And it really is worth spending just a few minutes here to free up valuable SSD space by installing any games that we just haven't played in a while and can really eat away at our precious storage space. And we can do this by clicking the three dots, then simply choosing uninstall. Also uninstall any Windows apps that we just don't really use like OneDrive or OneNote, for example. Manually uninstalling these is generally considered better and much more safer than using automated debloaters like Bloatino, as I mentioned earlier, which can be overly aggressive and may remove essential system services, which can then cause irreversible damage. Yikes. And I know what you're thinking now, which is, but Pete, how much FPS has this debloating actually gained us? Well, let's test out the awesome Gears of War Reloaded. I'm launching this both times straight from the Windows desktop and both before and after on the 17 watts performance profile and in a similar part of the game to obviously keep it a fair test. And we can see here after debloating on the right, it stays in the 50s FPS, where before our debloating, it drops to the 40s FPS at times. When we stop to shine our laser beam at the Angry Pigeons, after debloating on the right, we're getting in the high 50s and even early 60s, compared to lower beforehand on the left. And further on too, there are many times it's higher as well, which is so ace. And let us know any differences in games that you find too. Congratulations, you've now debloated your ally or PC gaming handheld. Like and leave a comment if this helped, and also subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. I'd love to hear your thoughts and tips on this quite fragile area of debloating, so please do let us all know below in the comments. And a huge thanks to the amazing Chris Titus for his incredible Windows utility scripts that we used for this, and I'll link to his full vid below. I also want to say a huge thanks to awesome viewers like Roberto Martinez Reyes, whose encouraging comments like this I got on my last debloat guide gives me the motivation to keep making these vids. Thanks so much, Roberto. And as I thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. No matter how hard the past is, we can always begin again. Yeah, it's a sad fact that so many of us have had super tough childhoods and trauma growing up. But today is a brand new day with a fresh chance to begin again. So let's do our very best to heal from our past and to also embrace the great future ahead of us. So stay encouraged today, guys. And that's an extra bonus treat for staying right to the end. Here's our gorgeous rescue cat and her name is Pancake. I mentioned before that 17 essential step optimization guide that took me around 30 hours to put together and you can check that out right here. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.